With Danny Green getting traded to the Toronto Raptors alongside Kawhi Leonard, this meant that every NBA team now had a player with the last name of Green. So I decided to take a break from the highly controversial and argumentative videos that I usually make to have some fun and look at every team's best player whose last name is Green. So let's begin with the Atlanta Hawks, whose best player is Willie Green. He was on the 2011-2012 Atlanta Hawks roster and averaged 7.6 points per game along with 1.5 rebounds and 0.8 assists per game. This Atlanta Hawks team was a very odd one to say the least. It featured Tracy McGrady, Zaza Pachulia, Josh Smith, Joe Johnson, Al Horford, Jerry Stackhouse and of course our boy Willie Green. But next up, we have a more familiar face with the Boston Celtics. Their best player is Jeff Green, who spent 4 seasons with the team and averaged 14.6 points per game, 4.2 rebounds, and 1.5 assists too. Jeff Green has become one of the most notorious journeymen in the modern NBA, playing for a total of 11 different franchises since entering the league in 2007. Be on the lookout, because I have a feeling we're gonna see this guy's name in the video again for other teams. Now moving forward to the Brooklyn Nets, we have Gerald Green as their player. He didn't play for the Brooklyn Nets, but rather the New Jersey Nets, so it still counts in my books. As many of you know, Gerald Green was a high-flying offensive star who averaged almost 13 points per game as well as 3.5 rebounds and 1.1 assists while wearing a Nets uniform. He only played for the New Jersey Nets for one season back in 2011. His most memorable moment would have to be this insane alley-oop. But let's keep it moving, and the next team is the Charlotte Hornets, and their best player is Willie Green. He only played for the New Orleans Hornets for one season back in the 2010-2011 season, putting up 8.7 points per game, 2.1 rebounds, and 1 assist. There's nothing too special about him or the team that I could mention, but hey, he's the first person to appear twice in this video. Moving right along to the Chicago Bulls, their best green player is Sidney Green. This is definitely not someone you should know unless you're a diehard Bulls fan or an old head because Sidney Green played for the Bulls for just 3 seasons back in 1983 to 1986. He averaged just 9.2 points per game, 6.1 rebounds and 1.1 assists too. There isn't much going on with Sidney and he doesn't have any highlights so here's his teammate that's a million times better than him. And oh yeah, he once got into a fight with Isaiah Thomas so there's that. Following after Chicago is the Cleveland Cavaliers and like I said before, we have Jeff Green. It really wasn't a close competition because their second best player was Danny Green who only averaged 2 points per game during his rookie season. Jeff on the other hand averaged 10.8 points per game, 3.2 rebounds and 1.3 assists too to top it off. He was a part of the super weird Cavaliers team that featured LeBron James, a somewhat healthy Isaiah Thomas, an old Dwayne Wade and Derrick Rose who is still injured. I would have to say that Jeff Green's most memorable moment as a Cavalier would be catching an alley-oop pass from Dwayne Wade over Kevin Durant. Following the Cavs is the Dallas Mavericks, who have AC Green as their best player. A lot of people remember AC Green for his time on the Lakers, but he wasn't even that bad on the Mavericks. He averaged 6.9 points per game, which is nice, along with 7.5 rebounds and 1.1 assists. One fact about AC Green was that he was given the nickname Iron Man because he holds the record for the most consecutive NBA games played at 1192, which is insane. Moving on to the Denver Nuggets, their best green player is Mike Green, who played for the franchise when they were an ABA team. He spent his first two professional seasons with the team, averaging 14.5 points per game, 8.3 rebounds, and 1 assist. He was actually an all-star his second year in the league and honestly you can't blame me for not finding any clips of this guy. He played with the team in the mid 70s. Moving on to the Detroit Pistons, we have a returning person which is Sidney Green. Remember how I said this guy fought Isaiah Thomas? Well he would go on to be his teammate the following season afterwards. It really shows you the mentality the Pistons had. If you were a menace to society, they were gonna give you a contract. Sidney was a consistent role player who averaged almost 8 points per game along with 8.2 rebounds and 0.8 assists. He only ended up spending one year with the team. For the Golden State Warriors, I'd say their green player is really obvious, and it's Draymond Green. 
This guy has done a lot for the franchise and although he hasn't been doing the best recently, not too long ago he was a monster on both ends of the court and even an all-star three times. His averages while at Golden State don't do him justice. He's averaging 8.8 .8 points per game, 6.9 rebounds which is nice again, and 5.3 assists along with almost 1.5 steals per game and 1 block per game as well. Draymond Green has also won a Defensive Player of the Year and was a key piece in the Warriors' success. Next up, we have a major throwback for the Houston Rockets. And when I say throwback, I really mean it. Dude played when there wasn't even a three-point line and they weren't tracking blocks and steals. Obviously, I'm talking about Johnny Green. And if you don't know him, you're casual. Nah, I'm just messing around. Nobody knows this guy. But he is the Rockets' best green player, so we'll have to take a look. He averaged almost 14 points per game, 10.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists per game as well in the one season he spent with the Rockets. He was a four-time All-Star, so I guess that's something pretty cool about him. Next up, we have the Indiana Pacers and another familiar face, Gerald Green. He only spent one season with the team, that being the 2012-2013 season, and put up 7 points per game, 2.4 rebounds, and 0.8 assists too. Nothing too special, but he was a solid player. Now moving on to the Clippers, their best player is Jeff Green, again. Jeff Green spent the 2015-16 season with the Clippers while averaging almost 11 points per game, 3.4 rebounds, and 1.5 assists as well. Funny enough, this Clippers team was really stacked, but ultimately underachieved heavily. They had their Lob City Big 3 along with great role players like Lance Stevenson, Paul Pierce, Austin Rivers, Jamal Crawford, JJ Redick, and of course our guy Jeff Green. But now moving on to the other Los Angeles team, the LA Lakers. I think you guys all have a pretty good idea of who their best green player is. It's AC Green. AC spent 9 seasons with the Lakers averaging 10.6 points per game, 7.7 .7 rebounds per game, and 1.3 assists per game. AC Green was also one of the only Lakers to play in two different eras while with the team. In his earlier days, AC Green had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson playing with him. In his second stint with the Lakers, AC Green had Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant as teammates. I think it's pretty cool he got to play with two different generations like that. Another fun fact about AC Green was that he once played 83 games during the regular season, although normally having only 82. This was because he got traded mid-season and the games overlapped. For the Memphis Grizzlies, I'm really tired of saying this guy's name, but it's Jeff Green. Jeff spent two seasons with the franchise, putting up 12.6 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, and 1.8 assists as well. There isn't anything too special going on with this team, but they were the grit and grind Grizzlies. So yeah, there's something. Next up we got the Miami Heat and the best green player award goes to Gerald Green who spent one season with the team averaging almost 9 points per game, 2.4 rebounds and 0.8 assists. Gerald Green was average as usual and in the 2015-16 season that he spent with the Miami Heat, the team made it all the way to the Eastern Conference semifinals. For the Milwaukee Bucks we got our guy Ricky Green again. He only spent one year with the team in the 1988 season and averaged 5.4 points per game, 1.5 rebounds per game, and 3.5 assists. Ricky Green was a one-time all-star in his professional basketball career and he was rocking a very stylish afro. Funny enough, for the Minnesota Timberwolves, they only had one player whose last name was Green, and that was Gerald Green. He averaged 5.1 points per game along with 2.1 rebounds and 1 assist. His most memorable moment in the Timberwolves jersey would have to be this iconic dunk. The New Orleans Pelicans actually only had one player in their franchise, and that was Willie Green. He averaged 8.7 points per game, 2.1 rebounds, and 1 assist. Nothing too much to say about this guy honestly, so let's move on to the New York Knicks, and it's Johnny Green. The same guy from the Rockets played for the New York Knicks in his first 7 years in the NBA. From 1959 to 1966, Johnny Green was a star on the Knicks averaging 13 points per game, 10.2 rebounds a game, and 1.7 assists as well. Johnny Green was an all-star in his 3rd, 4th, and 6th season as a Knick, so clearly he was dominant in his time. It sucks that he played so long ago because it's almost impossible to find any of his highlights. But now moving on to the Oklahoma City Thunder, their best player is Jeff Green for what feels like the millionth time. This was where Jeff Green actually started his NBA career and only he and Kevin Durant are the only players from the Seattle Supersonics franchise to still be playing currently. Jeff Green spent 4 seasons with the team as they transitioned over to the Oklahoma City Thunder, averaging 14.2 points per game, 5.8 rebounds, and 1.7 assists. 
Next up is the Orlando Magic. Their player is Sidney Green, who spent only one year with the team in the 1989-90 season, averaging 10.4 points per game, 8.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists. That season was a career high in points per game for Sydney, and it ended up being the only season where Sydney both shot and made a three-pointer. The Philadelphia 76ers are next, and they've actually had the most green players on their team with seven. But out of everyone there, the best one may actually shock you. It's Danny Green. He actually didn't do that bad with the team, putting up 9.5 points per game along with 3.8 rebounds and 1.7 assists. He had his worst shooting year with the team, and I think that he gets a little bit too much disrespect nowadays. He's a solid starter that can knock down threes and guard the better guards in the league. We're getting through with the home stretch people, so stick with me. For the Phoenix Suns, we got Gerald Green. I remember when I was younger, Gerald Green would always be on the top 5 highlights because of his electrifying dunks. I mean, just look at some of the stuff he's pulling off. He clearly was doing something right because he had a career high in points per game that year at 14 as well as 3 rebounds and almost 1.5 assists. Funny enough for the Portland Trailblazers, they only had one green player and that was Torian Green. Torian Green is probably one of the worst green players to have that last name. He only spent one year with the team back in the 2007-8 season. He averaged a mere 2.1 points per game, half a rebound, and one assist. For the Sacramento Kings, we actually have a new face in town. Cy Green played for the Cincinnati Royals, who are now known as the Sacramento Kings back in the late 50s. He averaged 12.1 points per game while tagging along 6.3 rebounds and 4 assists. Pretty solid. But I definitely have to say his biggest accomplishment was that Cy Green served in the US Army between the two years in Cincinnati. How many players have done that? Not a lot I'm sure. For the San Antonio Spurs, it was a no brainer. Danny Green was their best player. Say what you want about him, but Danny Green was great on the Spurs and was a crucial piece in their 2014 run. In the 8 years he wore a Spur uniform, he averaged 9.1 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, and 1.7 assists. While on the Spurs, Danny Green was a consistent 3 and D guy that deserved his respect. And on the flip side, we got the Toronto Raptors. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, Danny Green was the first Raptor to be named Green while wearing the Raptors uniform. While on the Raptors, he averaged a career high 10.3 points per game, 4 rebounds, and 1.6 assists too. I think we've talked about Danny Green enough, so let's move on. Ricky Green was the best player to play for the Jazz, spending 8 seasons with the team and becoming an all-star for one of those years too. He averaged 11.4 points per game, 2.3 rebounds per game, and 6.9 assists too. The year that he was an all-star, he was actually the steals champ too with 2.7 steals per game. And now the last team, we finally made it. For the Washington Wizards, their best player is none other than Jeff Green. I know, what a surprise. He spent the 2018-19 season with the team, putting up 12.3 points per game, 4 rebounds, and 1.8 assists too. I think you guys are all tired about hearing Jeff Green's name, so let's just end it there. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video or found out something that you didn't know before, please consider smashing the like button so I can see that you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the best basketball content. But as always, until next time, cheers.